One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. Right at the beginning, I said to myself, why do Lord of the Rings on stage? Fantastic novel, amazing films. Why go any further than that? Reading the novel, the world of Middle Earth and the story exists interior in your imagination, inside your head. And watching the film, you experience the world of Middle Earth as though through a giant window what you can do in theatre is take the audience and lead them into Middle Earth so they're physically present. And this was really the root of the idea for making this as environmental a production as possible so that the stage design extends out beyond the, the proscenium arch and into the auditorium and that the, when the audience arrives uh, for the play the auditorium itself will be in action um, cast members, hobbits will be around and about, uh, bits of music being played, it'll be the atmosphere of the Shire. Only in theatre can you say, I was there. I was there during the Battle of Helm's Deep. I was there when it happened. This is a unique experience and, an, and a very exciting additional experience to the other two formats. We're using all of the organic textures that we found, bark and trees, branches and leaves, and we're using that to create a sort of charming, idyllic little haven. That's not unlike some of the things we're playing with for the Shire. So it may be that, that we're just using windows on branches and trees, just floating in space like that. So that might... Um, might be something like that in the show. We have composed some music and then set designer and the other people here on music, they get some ideas and then when we see their, their idea, then we noticed, okay, now we have to take a different angle here. Exactly. So that changes our work all the time. Yeah. So we have started the journey, but we yeah. don't know when it's gonna end. We have bravely tried to mold two very distinct styles together, which is the Finnish Northern European, brittle Northern European sounds, and the very, I suppose, luxuriant <laughs> Indian sound. Now there's so much of uh, things which separate a human being. 
borders religion caste and color and all the stuff when you listen to a piece of music you never know all that you just the piece of music is the answer for all those who divide the world and when you listen to the music you forget about who made it or what the process was people are asking what kind of music is your music is it world music or what is that and i think it's very hard question because i know that i don't know the right answer mm. what is our music because we are doing that music with our heart and soul and it's very hard to say is it world music or folk music or something we just say it's vertina music <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people who are skeptical. How can you possibly put those three huge films onto the stage? Uh, how can you possibly put a thousand pages of text onto the stage in, in, in one evening? Bring us your imagination. I believe in the power of theatre to tell great stories, to tell huge epic stories, as it has since ancient times. <laughs>